Welcome back to 10 Things. Today we are talking about 10 tallest flowers around the world. We all know some of the tallest trees, but how about the tallest flowers? That's right, there are also flowers out there that can be taller than you. Even better, some of these blooms are also perennial which means they look stunning especially in summer. You will find 10 tallest flowers in the list below, so let's see which one is taller than you. Number 10. Tall Verbena. The cool thing about the tall verbenas is that they do not only grow tall but also grow fast. These flowers have slender stems, and their tall height displays beautiful lilac flowers in tight clusters on top of the stems. They are native to tropical South America, where they grow in most of the warm regions. In fact, these tall flowers grow best in full sun or light shade which makes them great for mass planting. Along with that, tall verbenas bloom for weeks which starts from early summer until frost. You can also grow them in cooler areas, since they can withstand temperatures between 7 to 11 degrees well. Not to mention that they attract butterflies and hummingbirds, these flowers are quite popular out there. Number 9. Delphinium. There are over 400 species of delphinium, and all of them are beautiful and tall perennial flowers. Delphiniums are native to the North Hemisphere and the mountainous areas in the African tropics. The special things about them are not only their height, but also their beautiful bloom with vibrant colors. This tall flower species thrive in cold and moist climates, and some species can grow even taller than 7 feet high. Despite being one of the most beautiful and tallest flowers, the plants and seeds of delphiniums are very poisonous. In case you want to plant them in the garden, make sure there are no curious children or pets around. Number 8. Echinops giganteus. Here is one of the tallest flowers that can grow to be as tall as 2.7 meters or taller. This flower species is native to East Central Asia, Europe, and the mountainous areas of tropical Africa. Echinops giganteus is very easy to recognize with their spiny foliage and blue or white spherical flower heads. At the same time, these flowers can grow so fast they reach their average height in just a few months. People also use their flowers and stems in flower arrangements, since they look great both dry and instant. Their natural habitats are usually fallow land and grassland, but they are also common as border flowers due to their height. Number 7. Green Head Coneflower. Looks like a sunflower but is not, greenhead coneflower is one tall flower species with an interesting appearance. There are from 2 to 25 flower heads at the top of the plant along with 6 to 12 yellow or purple petals. These tall flowers are found in North America especially in alluvial thickets, low rich woods, and wet fields. Their early spring leaves are boiled for greens by the Cherokees as well as other southeastern peoples. These flowers also attract birds, so they make a great choice to plant in the garden or front yard. Not to mention that they are easy to care for, the green head coneflowers are one of a kind. Number 6. Yucca. Yuccas are both perennial shrubs and trees with beautiful flowers that can grow very tall. These flowers are known for their gorgeous evergreen rosettes and word-shaped leaves with large terminal panicles of white flowers. Yuccas are native to arid and hot parts as well as desert regions of the Americas and the Caribbean islands. There are nearly 50 species of yucca, and each of them is unique in its own way. The main pollinators of these flowers are yucca moth that transfer pollen from plant to plant then laying their eggs. Yucca does not only grow tall but also has several built-in mechanisms to conserve water in dry climates. They even have fruits that people eat in several ways, making them one of the most interesting plants. Number 5. Titanarum. Here you are looking at the perennial herb with the largest collections of flowers in the world. This giant flowering plant is native to the rainforest of the Indonesian archipelago and Sumatra, usually by the steep hillsides. The unique thing about Titanarum is that it develops one tree-like gigantic leaf that it replaces each year. On top of that, it also blooms once every two to seven years with four to six flowers in a lifetime. In spite of the great height and interesting appearance, these flowers have a pungent smell that resembles rotting meat. This odor attracts dung and sweat beetles that help with the pollination of the flowers. These tall flowers can survive up to 40 years in the wild, and its nickname is corpse flower because of the smell. Number 4. Alsea. The Alsea Akahalahak is one of the tallest flowers that can be annual, biennial, or perennial. There are 60 species in total that are native to Central and Southwest Asia. You can easily tell one by its distinctive broad, rounded, and hairy leaves with multiple big and showy flowers. Apart from being interestingly tall, hollyhocks are also common in the gardens, since they are drought-resistant. At the same time, they will thrive in places that are too dry or hot for other plants. 
On top of that, these flowers are edible which people add to salads or as garnish, although the taste is bland. Plus with their woody stems that can be used as firewood, these tall flowers are pretty useful to plant. Number 3. Giant Vipers Bugless. When it comes to the tallest flowers, this is the species that you should not miss. The giant vipers bugless is native to Europe, Western Asia, and Western China, usually in fields, pastures, roadsides, etc. It is a short-lived perennial flower species with a fascinating appearance and shape. The leaves of the flowers are roughly silver hairy with lance-shaped and rosettes that produce flower panicles up to 4 meters long. The flowers are usually blue in color with large bracts in mid and late summer. Giant vipers bugless is better to admire from the distance because all parts of these flowers contain toxicity. Contact or ingestion might result in some unpleasant symptoms to both animals and humans. Number 2. Boltonia asteroids. Beautiful and tall, these perennial flowers also go by the names of false chamomile and white doll's daisy. This species is native to Canada and the United States, and some of them can grow up to 78 inches tall. The awesome thing about false chamomiles is that they are beneficial for pollinators while looking good in the gardens. They usually bloom from August to September, and their colors are lilac, pink, purple, or white with yellow centers. In case you want to plant them, make sure you have the time to care and support for their beautiful growth. As one of the tallest flowers, this flower species is also very popular among flower lovers. Number 1. Bromeliaceae. Bromeliaceae is a very interesting flower species among other 3,500 species in their family. Two of their common members that we are familiar with are pineapple and Spanish moss. This species is inexpensive yet very easy to grow since you can plant them outdoor and they grow all year. The awesome thing about their flowers is that they last for months while requiring just minimal care. If you live in areas with tropical climates, you can plant some of them in your backyard or garden also. You won't have to worry about regular watering or pests at all because these flowers are pretty tough. Although they are slow growing, they are long lived which is very nice to have.